Hi there, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna go over Elements Kit Mega Mini module. I have divided this video into three different sections. The first section is about the easy, simple, necessary things that you have to have before creating a Mega Menu. And in the second section is about creating a Mega Menu. And in the last section, I'll introduce you some of the most important settings that will help you to apply your creativity. And all this section will be incorporated inside of the single video. Initially, we will require two things. The first one is the Elements Kit plugin itself, and the second one is the header template. In case you are not familiarized with this plugin, feel free to check the description box, we have mentioned some helpful videos there. After you have successfully activated the Elements Kit plugin, from the dashboard, go to Elements Kit, then go to Modules. Then make sure the header photo module is activated and the Mega Menu module is activated. After that, click Set Changes. Now go to header footer, click add new. Now we have a dedicated video about creating this header template that we have mentioned in the description box. Now let me give you a basic idea of this one. Let's just start giving a title name. I'll name it Mega Menu. Then all the setting I'll keep as it is, then I'll click activation. All right, now click edit with Elemental. Take any section. Now from the widget panel, search nav menu. You'll find a widget nav menu with an e-kit badge. Drag in the widget on your page. Then in the left side, you'll find a section select menu. From here, you have to select a menu. We haven't created a menu, so we'll create a menu in the second part of this video. And all the other settings like the mobile menu settings, menu setting and the style, we have a dedicated video that talks about all these settings. Please check the description box. Now in the second section of this video, we will learn how to create the Mega Menu. To do this, go to Appearance, then Menus. The first thing here you have to do is create the menu. If you haven't created any kind of menu, you have to create one. So let's name it Primary. Click Create Menu. Let's add a new menu item here. Let's take it all the way to the top. Now there will be an option, enable this menu for Mega Menu content. Enable it, and then if you hover any of this item, you'll find a new option, Mega Menu. Click on there, enable it, then click Edit Mega Menu Content. It will open up a new window. Now you can create a menu from the scratch by using this kind of widget, like you use your Elemental. Now I'm gonna use our already existed layout. So what I will do, I will create this Elements Kit icon. Then from the category, I'll select Mega Menu. And these are the Mega Menu content offered by Elements Kit. Let's open up this one. You can check the light preview from here, but I'm going to insert it for now. This process might take a bit of moment. In case you need to customize this template, you can also do it from here. Let's remove the last column. All right, now update it, close it, save it, close it, and save it. All right, now let's go back to our header template once again, update it, then refresh it. And in the left side, we can see our menu primary. And this is our menu. Now if I hover on the Mega Menu, we can see our Mega Menu is here. Now let's open any of our page. Now this is our page with a menu that we have created. Now if I hover on this item, we can see our Mega Menu is here. Now it's time to talk about some of the most important settings that will help you to apply your creativity. Again, go back to your dashboard, Appearance, then Menu, then open up this menu. Now if you go to icon, from here you can select any icon you want, like I want an icon of this home and the color I want to choose is red. Then I'll go to badge and I'll name it hot. And after that I'll choose a badge color, white is perfect for me, and the background color I want to choose again red. Now if I go to the settings, they'll find a kind of important options. The first one is the default width and at the second row we'll find related. This is the default setting that comes with the Elements Kit Mega Menu option. But if I select full width, 
then save it, then go to our page, we'll find a logo at the left side and the badge at the top. And if you hover on it, we'll find a full width menu. But there is a mistake that you have already done. When you select full width, make sure is default. The position of this menu must be default. The related means it will depend on the parent menu, that means the mega menu. Now we have selected the default. Now save it once again, then go back to our page. Now right now it's the related position, that means the menu will start from this one. Now if I refresh it, now the position is the default. In case you want a custom width, you can go to custom width, then you apply your custom width that you want. There is another important option that I'll discuss now, which is important for the responsive part of the mega menu. This is our mobile device, let's open up the menu, open the mega menu, and this is the template that we have imported. In case you don't need this kind of template for the mobile device or the tablet device, and you need only the WordPress default submenu, what will you do on that time? In order to show this option, let's apply some submenu. I want to apply this home, then this hello world, and the unfold. Now save it. Now what I will do, I'll go to mega menu. Then there is an option you'll find builder content and WP submenu list. For the mobile device, I will use the WP submenu list. Save it, close it, and save the menu. If I open it, I will see the submenu as a list item like we normally see in the WordPress default style. Now if I go to the desktop device and open it, we'll see our main mega menu. And this is all about the things you need to know in order to start using the mega menu. Thank you for watching this video.